Hi guys, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Although by the time you're watching this, it's going to be past Christmas. It's happy Christmas Day today, but ha happy Christmas or Merry Christmas and a happy new year when it comes. Um, in today's video, you already read the title, so you already know, um, we're going to be doing Jamaican sorrel and sorrel is a very traditional drink in Jamaica. We do it every Christmas. It's very tasty very nutritious all that good stuff so nutritious and delicious yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today and i hope you guys enjoy this video if you are interested in seeing that continue watching and also don't forget to like comment share and subscribe okay. we'll the recipe below down in the comments below the description the yes. description and also if you're new here my name is tashana and this is and this is who is it who could have been? Miss Dave. Already you know it. Top everything, everything you know it. King already, already you know it. My body, so got a king body. Body gon' shine, bling, bling, body. Calling all the shots, ring, ring. Alright guys, so today we are making some Christmas sorrow. We got all our tools, all our ingredients. So first thing, tools. A knife to cut your orange or your ginger. A sieve or a sifter for later for when we get it out. A spoon, that's just for me because that's how I like to peel my ginger. I'll show you guys that. We got cinnamon sticks. We're gonna use whole cinnamon sticks, just one probably. Some cloves, whole cloves, and some whole allspice. Of course we have our beautiful sorrel or hibiscus. And we got some sugar and some Jamaican rum, which you mix in later at the end. We got our white overproofed rum. This is the official Jamaican rum, the good stuff. All right, so first thing we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna get our ingredients together and get them chopped and broken up. All right, so for real guys, the first thing you really wanna do, get a big old pot, get something like 16 cups or a gallon of water. Start to get that to boil. You can use a smaller pot, as long as it fits about a gallon. You wanna boil the water because we're gonna add the ingredients to the water once it boils, and we can let that go while we get our ingredients ready. All right guys, we're back over here with our ingredients. We're just gonna get them together here in a nice little bowl. Because as soon as that water is boiling, we can turn it off, throw them in. We're gonna use one cinnamon stick, that's all you need, one single cinnamon stick. We're gonna use, let's say, you don't need a lot of cloves, cloves are strong, maybe three or four cloves. They can be strong. Just three or four cloves. Allspice, you like a lot of allspice. Or pimento, did you make it? Yeah. So we're gonna use like, what is it, 12 more? And we literally pour into our ancestors to this stuff. I was gonna crack them. You can no, them. definitely do not crack them. So we're gonna use that, and then I'm gonna go again because she said use a lot. She's the professional. So two tablespoons or so, maybe like twenty of those. I'll be spicy. We're gonna be using four bags. Right? Um, yeah. yeah. Orange. We can just slice up, and we're gonna throw them in there. It doesn't have to be anything particular. Just some slices, so it gets into the thing. Ginger, got a lot of ginger. But you don't have to use all this ginger. Some people probably only use about that much or even less. But we got a whole yeah, lot. I love ginger, so, so I- we're gonna do, yeah. first thing, just to make it easy, just gonna clean up the little edges of the ginger. Just so it's easy to peel. Let me save the little pieces for some other recipe or something or other. And then we take the spoon. Peel the ginger. That's a little trick for the ginger. It makes it really easy. Get all of your ginger. Don't waste none of it peeling it. You can use the back of your knife too. There's another way. But I don't know who don't have a spoon. But if you're in a big hurry. Peel ginger. Oh, mix this up. 
left it all on. Almost all of it. Killed our ginger, and then we're just gonna cut it into decent thick slices. Don't have to be anything too small. Just help get all the flavor down. Yeah, you, like you crush it up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Seep out. All right, crush it up. It's a good call. Same way you handle garlic, really. Right. That's really not a lot. Nah, no? yeah. use a lot more in Jamaica. We're gonna use a lot of this. For four cups. Sorrow for days. And it's gonna be sorrowly. <laughs> Next up, guys, we're just waiting for the water to boil and then we're gonna add our sorrel and our ingredients. The rum and the sugar are gonna come tomorrow, 24 hours from now, when we sift it out and then we flavor it. Yeah, so pretty much um, that's the end of this process. Dave is the one making it. I'm just here to guide him. And then guide we'll us. have our grand market party. We wish. All right, guys. Ooh, ooh, it's steamy. So our water is boiling away. Okay. And we're just gonna very carefully drop our ingredients. That's a sorrel for now. And then here we come with the sorrel. Whole mess of sorrel. Seems like a lot of sorrel. You still think all four? Cups. So one and a half recipe, really. And we'll add one more bag of sorrel. Look at that. Look at it. Mm -hmm. There you go. And one bag of sorrel. So I would say one bag of sorrel for every eight cups or so of water. Which I would say is like a cup of sorrel per a cup of water. Which might be a little strong, but who knows? We'll see how this goes. We made one last year was kind of strong too, huh? You can get sorrel online, guys, or um, last year I got it at the Asian Asia. market as a two, if you have an Asian market. But you can just order it online. All right, so we can let it just barely bubble again, maybe. What do you think? Just turn it off? Yeah, this is actually perfect. All right, so pretty much I don't really think you have to go by exact measurement, especially if you're going to use the sorrel from off the tree. I think you should just eye it, make sure that there is enough sorrel in the water. And then when you leave it to steep and you're all done with it, if it's too much sorrel, you can always dilute it. You just don't want it to be like very bland and have no sorrel taste in it. You can always dilute it afterwards. So we're gonna leave this, we're gonna have it boil some more and then we're gonna leave it for the next 24 hours to see. Okay guys, so it's 24 hours after. What we're going to be doing now is we're gonna strain the sorrel out and get the water parts on. Okay, so the next step in this process now is to sweeten. So we're gonna use our sugar and yeah, we're just gonna sweeten to taste. Mm -hmm. So pour, stir. Give me a spoon, I have a whisk. Okay. Go ahead. You wanna spoon some in for me? You pour the rum in, and then we'll taste it, and then we'll add more sugar. If it needs more sugar, and more vice versa. A lot of sorrel, though. So I'm gonna count them, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one
So that's the one we're using. And we're just gonna do the same thing for to space. mushroom and we use like a jar and a half of sugar let me show you we use like one pint of sugar and what this was like half of, a Another glass half, of this half point. Yeah. this is how it's made give or take some ingredients but it's very much just like how I would have it back in Jamaica the the dried sorrel um, is probably just a little bit more concentrated, so it's stronger. Okay, guys, so here are our drinks. Very tasty. Ooh, it smells delish, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, cheers to. Um, what, what am I cheersing to? Mm. Something on YouTube. Or, che let's cheers to. Um, ending 2020 <laughs> in one piece. Mm -hmm. And a better 2021. Yeah, and a better 21. So yeah, cheers. That's a chill. Yeah, it's like mold wine. Almost. Mm. It's so good. It's a lot so of good. clove and ginger. If you're Jamaican, you get it. If you're Jamaican, you get, get it. it. Like if they've ever had spiced wine, I've had a spiced wine. Yeah. No food. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will <coughs> see you in another 2021? video. 2021? We'll see uh, you in 20... Um, yeah, we'll see you in 2021. Have a wonderful Christmas and a fabulous New Year. Adios. Feliz Navidad. Thank you.